Hey, what's going on everyone? Carlos here, Carlos Guild TV. Today's day 14 of 365. It's my last night in New York. It's been a awesome, awesome week, but I am ready to get back home. I am exhausted. I feel like I've been in Vegas for a week, just going hard nonstop. And that's how it's been here in New York every day. I've been doing something during the day. I've been going to events at night. I've been doing dinners, networking, you name it. And I'm ready to get back home. Um, but it's been overall just a, a, an awesome, awesome trip. Started with coming out here on Sunday, um, went to the NRF, uh, National Retail Federation annual uh, conference, um, got to meet, gosh, a bunch of people that I um, have connected with throughout the years on social media. We got to meet in person for the first time. Um, good buddy of mine, Ty Roxon. I met Greg Weiss, I met Tim McDonald, I met Brian Kramer. Um, Man, just an awesome, awesome time. Great trip. Totally worth it. I'm so glad I came out here. Today's video is going to talk about mobile marketing. So I've spent the last couple of days at a mobile marketing summit and I'm telling you guys, mobile's where it's at. Like the stats are fascinating. Um, today's keynote was with the chief innovation officer for Deloitte. And this guy was just spitting so much game out there, just so much hashtag real talk around mobile and why brands need to be on there and why they need to have a presence. And uh, one of the stats that stood out to me was by the year 2018, over four and a half trillion dollars of retail sales are gonna be attributed to mobile. So if there's any other reason why you need to look at getting your brand on mobile and have a mobile presence, okay, it's because that is what people live by. That's the first screen. One of the things that really jumped out at me in the NRF conference earlier in the week was um, one of the speakers said that people nowadays have a shopping mall in their pocket, which is their cell phone, their, their iPhone, their smart device. And it's so true. People nowadays, not only are they using mobile to engage on social, but they're using it to research, they're using it to, to actually purchase. And that is where as a brand you need to be. You need to be thinking beyond this year, but how am I gonna get beyond 2017, 2018? How am I gonna connect with this younger generation that's growing up with a cell phone in their hand? Right, so seven key takeaways in regards to mobile marketing over the next year throughout 2015. One is wearables. Goes without saying, your iPhone, it's considered a wearable. Fitbit, Jawbone, um, you've got the Apple Watch, it's gonna be dropping here in a few months. Wearable technology is where it's at. This is gonna revolutionize marketing and advertising because now customers are gonna carry around a product attached to them that as a brand, you can not only engage with them, but you can also push out things that are relevant to them and add value like coupons and offers and push notifications to keep customers connected to your brand. So um, wearables where it's at, I highly suggest that you go ahead and look into this segment because it is gonna be an absolute game changer. Think about this for a second. You're a grocery store. Instead of sending out a print circular that costs a lot of money to print and distribute, what if you go ahead and you shoot out a push notification every Wednesday or whenever your circular is printed or it's distributed to people's houses, why don't you go ahead and send a push notification to your subscriber base on their Apple Watch or on their iPhone uh, so they can go ahead and be connected in real time and they don't have to check their mailbox. Number two is video, needless to say. I'm using this right now as a medium to go ahead and drop inspiration, education, and motivation to people out there. As a brand, it's no different. Leverage Vine, leverage YouTube, leverage Twitter's soon to be native player and recorder for video, leverage Facebook video, but use video content. Video is much more engaging than static photo and display content, real talk. Number three, have an app. Apps are coming back, apps are sexy. Having a brand app allows you to control the end user experience. It allows you to provide valuable content, and again, push notifications to your customers. But as a retail brand, you can do things like have your um, store locations. As a mom and pop coffee shop, you can have your menu. You can do so many things within an app, it's incredible. I've seen it over the last few days, uh, being at uh, NRF, and then also at this uh, last summit, the last couple days, things like iBeacon. Um, purchasing throughout the app. Customers, consumers, users of mobile, social, digital, they're driven by apps. What am I using right now on Twitter? It is an app. 
What do I use when I travel on Southwest Airlines? I use their app. There's so much that you can embed and use an app for. The great thing as a brand is you can control the end user experience, real talk. Number four is measurement. As brands invest in new technologies, Granted, C-level executives, they're gonna to wanna to know what's this producing for the brand in terms of ROI. So measurement's extremely important. Don't lose sight of what these technologies, especially what mobile can do for your brand. Back up your real talk with real analytics and insight. Number five is data. With the more people that use mobile, there should be more data. At the end of the day, plain and simple. Number six is M-commerce. So mobile commerce, it's huge. Brands are training their customers to start to shop on their iPhone. Number seven, social media. Social media is the curator of marketing content. It's where the fish are swimming. You wanna be the fish in the big pond. Real talk, be on social media, engage with customers, drive customers to go back to your mobile app experience, which then drives them to buy stuff, whether in store or online or on their mobile device. Those are the seven trends for 2015 in mobile marketing. Hope you found this enlightening. Subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. For now, fist bumps, bam, peace, and I'll see you tomorrow.